All right, so my boat has a problem, and I'm trying to fix this problem. It hasn't rained in a few days, so there's not that much water here. See, the water, this is very low, I mean. But sometimes the water here will, will come up real high. Why don't I show you what that looks like? Just pretend like it's raining. This is rainwater. Might as well blow the leaves off while I'm at it. You'll see what the problem is. Look at all that water. I just got my sandals wet, oops. See that? It doesn't, it doesn't drain out the back. So this gets really gross when I'm, when I'm fishing and the, this water turns all, you know, if, if I have a Mai on the boat or something, it gets all bloody and gross and nasty and obviously when I run up on plane, it, it'll go out the back, but if I'm patchery fishing or if I'm anchored up, I just have all this water build up and it just kind of gets gross, especially when you're wearing shoes and not trying to get your socks wet. See the bilge? It's pretty much empty in there, so... So I guess my question is... Um, what would the best thing to do in this situation be? I considered... I could drill a hole here. See, and I'll show you where this goes. Oops. Let me turn on my camera light. All right, so this hole would come out right here in the corner and then it would, the water would flow down in there and uh, it would get bilged out by the bilge, which is in here. But I'm thinking that would be kind of a stupid design because that means if I take a big wave or something and, and the whole back of my boat is full of water, then my bilge is constantly running or every time it rains, my bilge will have to work extra hard to keep pumping the water out. So I don't know if that's the best solution in this this problem. Or I could even, in theory, drill a hole here, which would come out right about here, so the water could go out. But that just seems crazy to me, to drill a hole in the side of my hole. I don't know, that doesn't seem smart. I had one person suggest that I just put rubber mats here, but that won't fix the problem. And then I'm, I'm worried that like algae and under the mats will get all gross and, and screw up the deck. So I don't wanna put any mats down. I just need to find a better solution for, for this problem. And like, if I walk to this side of the boat, you're gonna see all the water comes down to this side of the boat now. There must be a better way. This is one of my favorite features about this car. Yeah, look at it raise. See, that just raised my car. Good, like, three, four more inches, so now my trailer sits a little bit higher. Taking her on out. Yeah, see, even at idle speed, the, the water still stays in the boat. You gotta be up on plane if, for it to drain out the back hole. Well, I gotta say, that was pretty professional. First try got us right up, right up on the trailer. 
these guide bars make it pretty easy. Well, that's what three months sitting in the water will do to you. Those two are beautiful. Look at that, it comes comes right off. Sweet. Comes right on off there. Gotta say that was a pretty good parking job there. You got like no room in the front. It only took me like three turns, I think. Getting better. So here's another thing I have a question about. See all this growth on, on my transducer? It's like a like like a rock almost. It's pretty much covering the whole transducer. Um, is that bad? Is this gonna affect how my transducer works? My transducer is also set way too low. I'm gonna raise the whole thing. So this is flush with this. See, that's why my transducer didn't work at um, higher speeds because it's just sitting way too low. It's supposed to be flush, so move this from here to here. Should fix the problem. And I gotta figure out what to do about all this growth here. As you can see, I was able to pretty much, with a hose, just spray off most of it. There's some bigger stuff, but I'm gonna let it sit for five days while I'm in Arizona. And I'll come back and try to scrape it off a little more. Well, now that my boat's on the trailer, it's kind of sitting like this. As opposed to when it's in the water, it kind of floats like this. Now it's like this. So the water... Most of it ran out the back. You can see there's still some water here that just does not want to leave. And this amount of water is okay to me, but you know, you saw how it was before, just tons of water. I just don't know what the best solution is. I was thinking there could even be a hole drilled here with a hose that runs to the back here, drill a hole here, so, and that hole would be maybe right here, which is about at least eight inches above the water line, so that shouldn't be a huge issue, but I'm not really sure I wanna do that myself. I'm just not sure what the right solution is, so hopefully you guys have some input and can Give me some advice before I start drilling holes into my boat like a madman. I think I got a little bit of a leak too, so I'm gonna do some serious work on the engine before I put the boat in the water too because I need this puppy ready for the springtime, summertime coming up. We're gonna be slaying it hardcore, so gotta get her in shape. I also really need new speakers. <laughs> I mean, look at this ghetto speaker. So, any recommendations on speakers too? I'm all ears. And that's pretty much it. Um, everything else on the boat works great. Thinking about maybe adding some like under lights here, but there's no overhang, so the lights would be on the outside, which I think would be a little weird. So I don't know what to do about lights. So I want to go ahead and say thank you for anyone that has advice or can maybe point me in the right direction. Tomorrow I'm flying out to Phoenix, Arizona for a business trip. I'm going to be there for five days, so that kind of gives me some time to get a game plan together on what I'm going to, what kind of work I'm going to do on the boat. And then after I come back on Sunday, I guess I'll go ahead and try to fix the water problem, fix the transducer and then it's major fishing time. I actually have two unedited videos um, where I'm fishing on Craig's boat. We have one pretty good day and one not so good day, but those two videos I'm gonna post probably in the next day or two. I'll be working on them and I'll get them shot out. 
I get a lot of complaints when I post videos that aren't about fishing, but everyone keeps asking me what it is that I do for work. I'll put together a, a short, maybe like a three, five, maybe a ten minute video on my about my trip to Arizona, which is a business trip for my industry. You'll find out what it's all about, but um, I'll give you some explanations on what it is that I do because the truth is, when I'm not fishing, I'm actually working my arse off, mainly behind the computer. So, anyways, thanks everyone, and stay tuned for some more videos. Peace.